this is the time that we are in uh, collection of results your candidates and your party have called for it to be cancelled in fact the entire process the entire election to be cancelled there have been responses by the governing party uh, saying you know that's illegal and I mean what do you have to say Right. Thank you guys for getting me out of uh, <laughs> your comfort zone. Post-election hibernation. I, I've been in hibernation. Charles got me out. Yeah. So, uh, fellow Nigerians, the INEC is sitting on an illegality. It has violated Section 38 of the Electoral Code. And it's based on that illegality that we are working. It said, if you read it, Section 30, it says, the presiding officer after an election shall. I'm not a lawyer. But when you hear lawyers say shall, that is a mandatory statutory responsibility. It's not me. Shall. So, INEC violated that. And it's continuing with this illegality and expecting Nigerians. Well, we have violated the law. Well, if you are not happy with that, go to court. It's just like you catch a thief. He says, oh, no, let me go and take the stuff I stole home before you take me to court. So the basic premise of all these things, the, 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 the impunity is an illegality outrightly from the beginning. So what gives any government, anywhere in the world, in a democracy, what gives it legitimacy is clean, free, fair, and credible election. If that election is contested anywhere in the world, the credibility of that government is, is, is called to question. OK, we'll come back yeah. to that in yeah. a minute. So please be patient and stay with us, because we want to hear the rest of what you have. <laughs> And you're watching a special program looking at the developments around Nigeria's 2023 presidential election. Uh, we've been uh, live at the National Collation Center where they've been reeling out all the figures uh, of the presidential, election presidential elections the and state by state. Yes. Um, we've heard, I mean, there have been quite a slew of them. Niger, Benue, Federal Capital Territory, Akwaibom, Edo, Abia, Kogi, Bochi, Plateau, Kano, Kebi, Zamfara, Sokoto. Fifteen states in all today. Mm. That was way better than we saw yesterday. Absolutely. And well, they've, they've taken a two-hour two break. break, yeah, which is, which is quite, quite um, extensive. Mm -hmm. Um, but we, we're going to go through periodically what the, the winning figures are. But in mm. terms of the last four, um, I think the NNPP took Kano. Mm -hmm. um, Kebi State was won by uh, the PDP. Uh, yes. Zamfara was won by the APC. And yes. Sokoto was also won by, by the, PDP. the PDP. Indeed. Very correct, Charles. Mm. Well done. Well, we've got uh, someone who knows about these things, uh, who's with us, although I, I expect he's more concerned about talking about other things. Uh, mm -hmm. Professor Usman Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf Usman is here with us. And, and Prof, we, we interrupted you, which I apologize. We were talking about the uh, developments um, around this election and the fact that some of your um, yeah, well, your, 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 your colleagues had decided that they were going to oppose the results. And in fact, the PDP, uh, working with the Labour Party, had said that they want the results cancelled. I'm curious to know um, whether this is just part of, because it's almost a sine qua non for opposition parties to say this. I mean, it's expected usually at the end of every election that they're going to say that they reject the results. I mean, this time, obviously, you and Labour, PDP and Labour, complaining bitterly. How legitimate are those complaints? Because, I mean, they seem to have a lot of public support in this instance. No, it's, uh, I, the one I know is very legitimate. I'm not talking abstract. I was in Kazuna you know, through the election period. So it's something we saw. People have their papers at the polling station and the numbers. These things have not been uploaded. And you see a different result called out there. Yeah, but the problem is that the 
people are saying that you're not presenting that evidence to INEC. No, I mean, no. what else? Is anybody in Nigeria, is, is INEC talking about beavers now? I mean, all the things they're talking about at that collation center. Have you had anything about beavers? There was a lady that questioned uh, the, the person from Kano. If we have, we've had beavers, we wouldn't have had this, oh, what's the number? Was, we're still analog. We refuse to upload all results from polling stations as the law stipulates. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is that, uh, no. I, I mean, I know no, she's going to come with a question in a minute, but... Uh, uh, Steve, uh, uh, <laughs> Charles, this is fundamental. You don't do the right thing. You violated the law. You did not upload it for everybody to see. And then you bring papers. Oh, let's talk. Oh, Kano. Oh, Kazena. Oh, this. We are still analog worse than we were 2015. This election is a lot more confused than we had in 2015. And they were selling the, the, the chairman of INEC uh, over-promised and, 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 and delivered little. Mm -hmm. We've seen clips of him saying, no, it will be uploaded from the polling station. The, 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 the polling station is what everybody has. Uploaded from there, as the law stipulated, he, they refused to do that. And they're saying, if you have a problem, challenge our illegality. Yeah, but did they refuse to do it, or were they imperiled by oh, the good, situation? Good. Imperiled. You can be imperiled if you don't want to. This is the most important day and time in this country. Someone was telling me last Saturday was a Saturday that there were no marriages in the North. Because Saturdays are the days. We, that's how important it is for our people. And you didn't think it is important enough for you, INEC, and the federal government to provide all that is needed to upload the result? No, we don't believe that. We don't. 